hostile tactics of follow-up strikes in its drone operations in Pakistan. There's been growing evidence that U.S. missiles are fired at the site of early attacks to target people coming to the rescue. A flurry of American drone strikes in Pakistan have wiped out over a dozen people in the last few days in areas the U.S. claims are full of militant activity. Ashish Gain and Chuchukan reports now on the legal questions raised. The U.S. prides itself on the rule of law, but on a number of issues, the line between what's legal and what's not has kind of blurred in the last decade or so. Is wiretapping legal? No. But in the name of national security, yes. There are attempts right now in Congress to legalize Big Brother on the web by making it legal for providers to funnel all private correspondence to national security agencies. The law in the U.S. protects free speech, but never before has there been such a hunt for whistleblowers. That's in America. But as far as U.S. actions abroad, the issue of what's legal and what's not is even murkier. Washington has expanded its target assassinations program in different countries, essentially putting itself above the law. Now I'm joined by John Pfeffer, author and co-director at the Institute for Policy Studies. He has an interesting theory about U.S. foreign policy. He compares it to Dexter, the TV show. Dexter is a fictional character who is a good citizen by day and a serial killer by night. But he only kills bad guys. Mr. Pfeffer, what's so wrong about being Dexter? I mean, everyone loves Dexter. Yeah. Well, it's a very popular TV show here in the United States and, and all across the world. But it raises some difficult moral questions because, of course, Dexter is judge, jury, and executioner, and sometimes he makes mistakes. And the United States, too is in a similar position. The United States often says it only kills bad guys, Osama bin Laden uh, and other figures that have been attacked by drones uh, over the last few years. But the United States also makes mistakes. There have been any number of civilian casualties associated with these drone strikes. So in some sense, they're in a similar moral quandary, Dexter and the U.S. government. As you said, you know, this administration has uh, expanded its drone program dramatically. And uh, the strikes in Pakistan, Yemen, and other places, they end up killing many civilians. We're talking about extrajudicial killings. And here's the question that pops up. Uh, you know, when, when someone does something outside the law, they're usually afraid of getting caught. But uh, in the case of the U.S., who's the police to catch them? Mm -hmm. uh, there is no police, is there? Well, there isn't any police. Of course, there are international laws, and there have been a number of reports on uh, the implications of international law on the drone attacks. And the UN, for instance, rapporteur has condemned drone attacks as being illegal. But I think the, the chief concern here for the United States in terms of getting caught is being caught by blowback. In other words, by the consequences of these drone attacks. And those, I think, are significant because, of course, we've seen people here in the United States who have cited these drone attacks as the reasons for their uh, terrorist activities, for instance. So I think it's this blowback which really represents the, the, the casualty or shall we say the consequences that are most